Hi there, welcome to number one Geeky Design Saz, and we're back with some more Stardust Beta. So we're still going through all the new bits and pieces that we go forwards and just learning how to play the game. And hopefully, while I'm learning, I'm helping you learn how to do it as well. So that's that's my basic mission. My basic lot in life, that's how I like to do things. So hopefully you'll be able to learn. Now, here's what I've learned so far. Uh, research, uh, what I thought was, would be quite good, is if I started looking at petroleum and stuff like that. However, I looked at this synthetic datoid, and I saw advanced data harvester and a research station. Okay, so you can do it in a research station anyway. So I've, I've just, just completely ruined my point. Because the advanced research here is that's where the advanced data harvester is. So that is something that needs to be done. But it looks like I need a synthetic data to do it anyway. So, okay. We are going to go for the oil processing. The other thing I might look at as well is making another shuttle. The reason I want to make another shuttle is that I can send more than one party out to uh, go do stuff if we need to uh, get stuff immediately. But there's our oil processing anyway, so if we find some oil, that would be helpful. And it also allows us to be able to make uh, the datoids as well. So that's that's our, that's our major thing. In fact, what I'm going to do is how far are we into making the phytoid? Because the problem is at the moment, making the phytoid, phyto datoids, uh, they use plant fibre. I need the plant fibre because we're running out of food. So that's another thing. So we've got to stop doing the plants, planty stuff. And maybe have a look at doing the oily stuff. But I'm going to have to wait till that one's finished with. Because uh, there's no point in wasting all the uh, all the bits and pieces just for emergency's sake. Oh yes, and we've got one of these as well, haven't we? Let's 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 uh, open this bad boy up and see if there's uh, a person inside. Because there usually is. It, or a bomb. One or the other. But, or then sometimes there's some materials. Hopefully be useful. Come on, you. Even though he's not exactly in the best of health. So if there is someone there, we could probably accidentally lose droid here. Which we don't particularly want to do at this particular juncture. So I wonder if this is actually going to be a sensible thing. An enemy cleaning bot, folks. Right, where's our... I mean, I know I've had a cleaning bot with a cannon before. Where are you? Mine's, I can never, when it, whenever there's a fight going on, he always disappears, doesn't he, our, our Mr. Cannon bloke? Let's see if I can spot him walking around. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, he's, he's heading for the fight anyway. Are you? You might be. Can you go in? Nope. Right, let's take control of you. Hold control to give direct orders. Right, you go there. Right, release you now. We can also probably disassemble that, and he'll get taken away at some point. Anywho, that's uh, that's that. So next thing we need to look at is we're getting titanium from the planet, I believe, our group of people, and really that is about it. We're just slowly building ourselves up in uh, items. Uh, so we've got new stuff. Space travel, we've got ourselves thrusters, uh, production, pop our refinery in here, pop that there, hopefully we'll have enough uh, resources to build it, I think it looks like we do, it's nice to know, and we'll connect it up and see what goes on if we can make some oil, because then we can make some money there, so it looks like we've dropped some titanium here, is it because we've run out of space again? We have run out of space. Blinking Nora. Uh, facilities, is it? Yeah, storage unit. Put another storage. I'll put another couple there. I think that's probably going to be the best idea. And more titanium than we know what to do with. Oh, actually, thinking about it, we might as well just... Uh... Might as well make some titanium plate while we're at it. Right, so... When something exciting happens, I'll come back to you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay, we're out of um, carbon fibre, which generally tends to mean we need to do something about it. 
So am I able to throw that in there? Now the loom's quite a big piece of machinery. So we are going to have to be quite careful about where we put it. Let's try and put it there. Might be in the way, but we'll see how we go from there. So we need to start using the loom to make some uh, carbon fiber, basically. I just also got to be quite careful to see how much energy that takes up as well. Because obviously we don't want to end up having too much problems. There we go. 202 of them. So what do you need for carbon fiber? Just carbon. Well, we make a lot of carbon anyway, so uh, we've probably got an absolute ton of it. But there we go. We've got, uh, that's the next uh, pass. We're just slowly getting on, getting forward, aren't we, really? Uh, learning what comes next. It, it's really just the... The, oh, the the way of getting the research done to its most uh, profitable and uh, best for the best for the, the characters really so that's where we're going or trying to do so uh, we'll keep going as I learn so you don't have to good stuff in it uh oh an egg has come is this gonna be more cats it better be more cats I think I might keep uh, old robot boy with the gun close by though I'll keep an eye on him because this could be nasty or cats hope it's cats because at least I can eat the cats can't eat the bugs and the bugs will hurt sit on people's faces and stuff like that and I hate it having something sit on my face that didn't quite come out right did it okay I've got gold standing there just in case it isn't cats anytime Two hours later. Well, fortunately for us, it was a cat. A cat that hatches out of an egg, but it's a cat. Not an alien that won't sit on your face. Even though cats probably usually sit on your face as well, usually, when you're sleeping. Why am I talking about sitting on people's faces all day? So, I have not one, but two breach capsules coming in to uh, attack me. Good fun. Now, where is... Where is Mr. Cannon? Because I'll need you. I mean, if someone breaches over here, then that's not exactly the hardest thing to deal with. But most of the time, they generally tend to go into here. So I need to make sure that I have... Our tacky tacky boy. Wherever he is. To find him. Ah, oh, there he is. And he's charging balls. Well, that's inconvenient. To be fair, they do take a little while to come out. Sorry, Gold. I'm going to have to... take over you. And bring you there. And we'll see where this other breach capsule comes out. I'm hoping it's going to be around here, because they'll be about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Unless they can fly. Oh, good. We can deal with them at a later date. Hopefully. He's got a gun on him. Nice. That means we've got another gun. So what has this lot done? Well, he's not exactly going to do much, is he? So let's get him. Over there. While we're at it, let's uh, deconstruct this breach capsule. We we'll have to do some repairs as well. This guy doesn't know what to do, does he? Which is good. It's also nice that we've picked up another gun as well. That's uh, also going to be quite good because it means that we're going to end up having someone who else can also defend our. doing come here come here 
sounds better. Is he going? Where's he going? Why aren't you there? There we go. And just stay out of his way. You can shoot him from there. Right, now I can release ship. Right, now we need to also repair. And that should get us done. That was a more organised uh, version of being attacked, so yeah. Well, we're doing all right, I think. Also get some meals, so uh, some food, so we might as well make a survival meal. Are we out of survival meals already? Jesus. Christ, I eat a lot this lot. Lincoln Stasis Pod's coming now. Better not be anybody fighting, or I'm going to be sorely displeased. I'll be writing a letter, a strongly worded letter to the International Galactic Council of Incoming Stasis Pods. Okay, I guess, uh, dead person. Well, it's food. But we're cooking bread at the moment, because we've got all the flour from all the bits and pieces. I may have to start looking, actually, was that what I was going to do? Was I going to research doing more, um, was production, was it energy or computing? Improve, ah, that was the reason why I was doing the phytodatoids. <laughs> Look at that. I've only got four, but at the moment, we're kind of struggling. So maybe I need to make... Here's another idea. Uh, food prep. Maybe I need to put a few more planters in. That should... That should then help us... Get more food. Is that everything? Yeah. Right, so I now have nine planters, so hopefully A, it won't be too much of a strain on the uh, electricity and B, it should mean that I'll be able to get regular amounts of food out of there so hopefully that will sort it because sooner or later I'm going to have to do some uh, phyto research so if, I, if I'm able to make as much food as possible uh, and keep going and then also be able to make the phyto research that's going to make everything hunky-dory. Look! Another incoming breach capsule. I oh, see my ship is very popular today, and I don't know why. Well, let's uh, see where they're headed. Right. Okay. Now, take me another hour to find uh, old cannon brains. Gold, as is usually called. So expect a jump cut any second now. There he is. Let's control him, and we shall send him here. I think that's done it, is it? Oh, he's... No, he's there. Problem being, he's very... Okay, I think that's him done. Right. Let's get rid of the breach capsule. And we'll have to uh, repair the damage again. I'm sure there's more than one bit of damage on this ship. It generally tends to have a bit of wear and tear. There we go. Okie dokie. Well, that was that sorted out of the way. We're going to the end of the program, so I may end up uh, being the next thing I'll do is saying my goodbye piece. So.
see you then and yes we have come to the end so i uh, just want to say thank you for watching if you could possibly press that old like button and pop something down in the comment section and help the old youtube algorithm that'd be absolutely perfect also want to press that subscribe button if you are, uh, have an account uh don't press the bell icon so you get updated every time i upload content to youtube anyway that's me for this week uh sorry it's a bit late my daughter has been ill but this is the way it works anywho thanks for watching again guys take care bye bye